Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss question from textbook formative exercise 8.2. Okay, question number one. The diagram on the right shows a displacement function S equals to Ft, a velocity function V equals to Ft, and an acceleration function A equals to Ft for a particle which moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. For t more equals than zero but less or equals than four. Okay, so based on the graph, we are going to answer all these questions. Okay, so uh, from this graph, we can see there are three functions. Okay, the pink one is a uh, function of displacement, okay, which is quadratic, the straight line. Straight line is a function of velocity uh, and uh, the... Horizontal line, which is function of acceleration. Okay, so now question A. Okay, A, we are going to find initial velocity. Okay, initial velocity uh, means T equals to zero into V. Okay, now we have to focus on straight line, purple straight line, which is represent function of V. Okay, when T equals to zero, when T equals to zero, V is negative 2. So, when t is 0, v equals to negative 2 meter per second. Okay, b. Okay, the time uh, means t in second when the particle passes through fixed point O. Okay, passes through fixed point O. So, passes through O actually s equals to 0. Okay, when S equals to 0, now you focus on the pink graph. Okay, when S equals to 0, okay, here, T equals to 3. Okay, so T equals to 3 second. Okay, C, uh, the minimum displacement. Okay, so minimum displacement, you focus on... Uh, pink curve, quadratic pink curve. Okay, so minimum displacement, minimum S. Okay, so minimum S, actually, you can see from the graph right here, the minimum, which is equals to uh, negative 4. Okay, so S equals to negative 4. When S uh, meter, when S minimum, V is 0. Okay, V is 0. Okay, so then when V is 0, uh, T is 1 right here. So, uh, S is minimum which is equals to negative 4. Okay, so D, uh, total distance travel. Okay, so total distance travel by the particle in the given time period. Okay, so total distance. Okay, so for total distance, we need to focus on quadratic uh pink graph which is represent the function of acceler uh, sorry displacement okay so from here to here the pink one okay you focus on pink one right uh, from here to here uh the distance is one from negative three to four okay distance is one so from here to here okay so uh the top of uh, t exists, uh, the distance is 5, okay? The, the bottom one is 4. So, the total distance, 1 plus 4 plus 5, which is equals to 10 meter, okay? And the last one, E, the range of time in second when the particle move to the right, okay? So, move right, move right. Okay, so movement of the particle, we refer the graph of uh, velocity. Okay, so move right, V is more than zero. Okay, so now you focus on straight line um, graph. Straight line represent the function of V. Okay, so when V more than zero, meaning positive. Okay, so T is more than one okay so uh, t is more than one okay one one second
Question 2. The diagram on the right shows a displacement time graph of a particle moving along a straight line 40 seconds. The equation of the curve PQ is S equals to HT squared plus K where H and K are constants. The point P, Q, R and S are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 6, 0 respectively. Find A the values of H and K. Okay, so start from S equals to HT squared plus K. Uh, only actually only curve PQ okay is uh, S equals to HT squared plus K okay you can see here K actually the intercept okay which is equals to 1 okay so K equals to 1 so then S equals to HT squared plus 1 okay so then we can uh, see the point 2 3 passes through this curve okay so then we can substitute point uh, 2, 3. Okay, this is value of T. 3 is value of S. Okay, so we substitute into the equation 3 equals to H2 squared plus 1. Okay, so um, 4H equals to 2. H equals to 1 over 2. For question B, uh, the instantaneous velocity in meter per second of the particle when t equals to 1. Okay, when t equals to 1, actually right here, t equals to 1. Okay, so then uh, t equals to 1 uh, passes through um, the curve S equals to HT plus uh, HT squared plus K. Okay, so just now we got S. Uh, here you already have so then we substitute 1 over 2 t squared plus 1 okay so this is function of s okay so then to find instantaneous velocity okay to find v from s we need to differentiate okay so we need to differentiate so v equals to ds dt so equals to 2 over 2 T. Okay, so then equals to T. So, V equals to T. So, now the question asks you to find T equals to 1. Okay, so V equals to T. This is a function of T. So, when T equals to 1, when T equals to 1, then V equals to 1 meter per second. Okay, so then for B2, we are going to find the instantaneous velocity in meter per second when T equals to 3. Okay, so for question B2, we cannot use anymore the function S equals to 1 over 2 T squared plus 1. Because T equals to 3, okay, T equals to 3 right here, is not, okay, is not uh, on the curve anymore. Okay, so, but we can use other method. We know that relation between displacement and velocity, which is to find V is differentiate S with respect to T. Okay, meaning that velocity is gradient of displacement. Okay, V equals to the SDT. So, meaning that V is gradient of S. Okay, velocity is gradient of displacement. Okay, so when t equals to 3, okay, when it 3 equals to 3 right here. So, what is the gradient of the horizontal line? Okay, the gradient is 0. Okay, so for when t equals to 3, the gradient which is v equals to 0 meter per second. Okay, so same thing for B3. Okay, B3. Okay, when T equals to 5, we need to find the gradient. 5 is somewhere here. 5. Okay, gradient right here. So, we can use uh, formula of gradient. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, this one we got 4, 3 and this one is 6, 0. So, the gradient which is velocity is uh, 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 6. Okay, 3 over negative 2. Okay, meter per second. Number 3, a particle moves along a straight line so that its displacement s meter from a fixed point O at t seconds is given by s equals to t cubed minus 5t squared minus 8t plus 12. 
Okay, so where t is more equals than zero. Okay, A express the velocity function V and acceleration function A of the particle in terms of T. Okay, so the relation of uh, kinematics is S V A. So this one differentiate V to A, differentiate A to V, integrate V to S, integrate another time. Okay, so start from S. Okay, start from S. We are going to find V. Okay, V is dS dt. So, V equals to 3t squared minus 10t minus 8. Okay, so this is uh, V. So, A is differentiate V another time. So, dV dt. So, A equals to 60 minus 10. Okay, so this is function of uh, A. Okay, actually this one question A. Question B, determine the instantaneous velocity in meter per second and instantaneous acceleration in meter per second squared of the particle when t equals to 3. Okay, so for question B, we just substitute t equals to 3 into v. So this one, 3, 3 squared minus 10 times 3 minus 8. Okay, this one equals to negative 11 meter per second. Okay, so then uh, t equals to 3 into a is 6 times 3 minus 10, which is equals to 8 meter per second squared. C, find the value of t in second when the particle is instantaneously at rest. Okay, rest, uh, we know that when re particle rest, v equals to 0. Okay, so C... Uh, rest v equals to 0 okay v is this one so 3t squared minus 10t minus 8 equals to 0 okay this is quadratic equation so to solve we need to factorize so minus 4 plus 2 so t equals to negative 2 over 3 t equals to 4 Okay, so now we need to find the value of t, but t is always positive. So we choose t equals to 4. Then for question 3d, find the values of t in seconds when the particle is at O. Okay, particle at O. Particle at O meaning that s equals to 0. Okay, so d particle at O. So, S equals to 0. Okay, here we got S. S equals to T cubed minus 5T squared minus 8T plus 12. Okay, so this one, T cubed minus 5T squared minus 8T plus 12 equals to 0. Okay, this one you can uh, factorize. Okay, we got T minus 1, T minus 6 t plus 2 okay equals to 0 so then we got here t is 1 t is 6 and t equals to negative 2 okay so therefore we choose t equals to 1 and t equals to 6 the last one question e we need to find the total distance travel by the particle in the first 6 second okay distance in the first 6 second from t0 T0 to 3 equals to 6. Okay, so every time you want to find total distance, you must test either the particle change direction or not. Okay, so particle change direction when V equals to 0. So then we must test. Okay, V equals to 0. Okay, actually from previous question, we already have value of T when V equals to 0. Okay, here V0, T equals to 4. Okay, so then... Uh, t equals to 4 Okay, t equals to 4 is between 0 and 6 So meaning that uh, It uh, affect the movement of the particle Okay, so if this happen We need to find um, T equals to 0 into S Okay, this is our S Okay, so S equals to 0 cube Minus 5 times 0 squared Minus 8 times 0 plus 12 Okay, which is equals to 12. T equals to 4. S equals to 4 cubed minus 
5 times 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 12. Okay, equals to negative 36. Okay, and when t equals to 6, s equals to 6 cubed minus 5 times 6 squared minus 8 times 6 plus 12 equals to 0. Okay, so we need to draw these values of s. Okay, on the Cartesian plane. Sorry, eh, on the number line. Okay, so this one is 0, 12 is at the right, negative 36 is at the left. Okay, when t is 0, uh, 12, uh, this one when t equals to 4, the particle change the direction. Okay, so like this, this one t equals to 4, uh, and when t equals to 6, is right here okay so then we try to find the total distance okay so total distance okay so total distance okay from here to here 12 here to here 36 okay here to here 36 okay so then we add all 12 plus 36 plus 36 which is equals to 84 meter